fans and welcome to your yoga for when you haven't done yoga in forever yoga class. My name is Natasha, also known as Nurse Natasha. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, welcome back. Um, the intention behind this class is I haven't done yoga in forever. I just spent the past two months of my life redoing my whole life, moving 2,700 miles across the country from Las Vegas to Salem, Massachusetts, which is where I am now. Um, I pursued my dream of coming to Salem, which is where my business does the best. I host witchcraft and wellness retreats here in Salem and all across the country. And I did it. We did it, y'all. Um, but <laughs> that being said, I haven't done yoga in forever. And you know, I just wanted to put this offering out there for anyone who also is feeling like they just haven't moved their body or reconnected with their mind, body, soul in forever. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. This is an all levels friendly class. I do specialize in trauma informed plus size accessible yoga. So that's what we do here. Any props that you need for your practice, have it nearby. The only prop I have is my little baby Jack. Hopefully he will stay calm for the whole class. Um, all of my yoga props are packed. I don't even have my blocks, my strap, but if you need anything for your practice, set yourself up for success, have it around you. All I got is my mat and my living room here in Salem. I generally probably won't be filming here, but this is the only space I have available. Uh, it might be a little cut off because <laughs> this is a very small space. It's a historical home built in the 1800s. My filming space isn't ready yet. So we're making do with what we got, y'all. That is the intention for this class today is to just come as you are. Just take a moment to take some time for yourself and connect with yourself again if you have it in a really long time or even if you have and you just want a really chill yoga class, that's what we're doing today y'all. So if you like witchcraft, wellness, movement for just feeling good in the mind, body and soul and all that stuff, hit that subscribe button. I put out full free yoga classes for every new moon and full moon as well as tarot readings. Uh, and then just yoga classes just for things like this when you just really need to do some yoga. So we are gonna get started on our backs in Savasana. So you can go ahead and make yourself comfortable laying on your back now if you want to lay on a pillow, if you want to use a bolster, if you need any type of support here. Again, listen to your body. Remember that everything I say is an option, not an order. And do what feels good, y'all. So we're settling into our Savasana here. Now you can take any variation of Savasana that feels good. If you wanna extend your legs out, if you want to have your knees bent, so that's kind of what I like to do is I bend my knees. I knock my knees in together. If you're like me, you have big old booty, it kind of <clears throat> lets that low back uh, touch the mat. We're just tucking our pelvis a little bit. Or again, you can extend your legs. You could even take a Supta Baddha Konasana if you'd like, bringing the feet bottoms together to touch and opening the knees. Do what feels right here, y'all. That's what we're doing today is reconnecting with our bodies. Now, your hands can come to either side. You can have your palms facing up to receive, palms facing down to ground. Or I also offer the option, if you'd like, to place one hand on your heart and one hand on the belly. Now, you can keep the eyes open or closed. And we're just going to connect with our breath here. We're just going to take a moment just to come to our space, to come back to our bodies. Just noticing what happens in the body as you breathe. Maybe on the inhale, you feel the shoulders rise, the chest expand, the belly expand, taking up space. And on the exhale, a gentle release, a gentle relaxation. You can continue to deepen and lengthen these inhales and exhales. Really try to make these breaths just really deep, really long, really intentional. You could even sigh it out really heavy on the exhales. Just using our breath as a tool to reconnect to our bodies, to the present moment, to this space, to this moment on our mats. Now, as you breathe here, I just want you to take the time to check in, check in with yourself, check in with the mind, the body, the soul. Just ask yourself, how am I feeling? What's going on? And if you happen to notice any tensions, blockages, constraints, whether they're physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, I encourage you to practice non-judgment, non-attachment, just being an observer, just being aware of what's going on. And just take the time 
as we breathe here to ask yourself the question, what do I need? What do I need for my mind, my body, my soul? What do I need to just reconnect with myself or to maybe feel a little bit better? And it can be anything. It could be maybe I just need some yoga. Maybe I need some good food. Maybe I need to take a nap. Maybe I need to do some journaling, some breath work, pull some tarot cards, maybe a little bit of spell work. Maybe you need to go out and do something. Just tap into the energy that you are feeling. Ask yourself, what do I need? And make a promise to yourself to honor those needs. Now we're going to seal this with some nice deep breaths. So we're going to take a really big inhale in through the nose, filling up chest, filling up belly, taking up space. And open mouth, exhale, side out. Really big inhale in through the nose, filling up chest, filling up belly. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Last one, make it the biggest yet. Really big inhale in. Fill up a little more. Open mouth, exhale, side out. Now you can gently let your breaths return to normal. If your hands are on your chest and on your belly, you can let those gently drop to your sides, down to the mat. Now just start to bring your awareness back into your body. Maybe start with some little movements like wiggling your toes or wiggling your fingers. Maybe if your knees are bent, you can kind of windshield wiper the knees. Just really being intentional with our movements here, doing what feels good. Now, when you're ready, if your knees are bent in or even if they're already straightened on your mat, we're really gonna lengthen those legs and then we're gonna lengthen the arms up overhead too. Just taking a really big morning stretch here on your mat. Just really reaching the hands up pointing and flexing the feet. It's really elongating the body here. Like you just woke up this morning. Just taking a moment to stretch it out. You roll out the wrist, roll out the ankles. Now we'll gently bring those arms out to a T position. So extending the arms out on either side, and we're gonna to start to get into the hips and the low back here. So keeping your left leg extended, we're gonna bend the right knee in. So our foot bottom's coming down to the mat. We're bending that right knee. Now this is option number one. You can stay right here. Option number two is you're gonna open that right knee out to the side, so just letting it drop open so that hip mm -hmm. opens up. Option number three is gently bringing that knee into the chest. Maybe you wrap your hand or your strap around your leg. You can grab the back of the thigh or the shin. And the last option is going to be to grab the bottom of that foot, taking a half happy baby, pulling that knee down to the mat, really opening up the hip here. This left leg stays long. And wherever you are, whatever option you chose, we're going to breathe here. Just a few nice deep inhales and exhales. I do apologize for the noise. I do have neighbors above me, so we're going to hear them. <laughs> Now we'll take a nice big inhale here. Exhale, you can release your foot or your leg if you're holding on, but keeping that knee pulled into the chest, we're gonna take one more inhale here and then exhale, drawing that knee over to the left. We're taking a supine twist. So this left leg can stay straight or you can bend it. Maybe you gaze over your right shoulder. 
and just settling into this twist and breathing here. Now gently on the next inhale, you can return back to center. On the exhale, you can release that right leg down and we'll switch sides. So our right leg is straight now and we bend in our left knee, bringing that foot bottom to the mat. Now you can stay right here if that feels good or you can drop that left knee open to the side. Maybe you wanna hang out here. Maybe you wanna draw that left knee into the chest. And then maybe if you'd like, you can reach to grab for the bottom of that left foot. Pulling that knee down, really opening up the hip for a half happy baby. Again, find your option. And wherever you are, we're going to breathe into that hip. Nice deep breaths here. And then if you're holding that foot, you can go ahead and release, keeping that knee pulled into the chest. We're going to inhale here and exhale. Find that supine twist, so drawing that knee over to the right. Again, your right leg can stay straight or you can bend it. Maybe you gaze over that opposite shoulder. Just settling into this twist. And breathing here. Now I encourage you throughout this practice to continue that practice of non-judgment, non-attachment, because even I can feel as I'm doing this yoga for the first time in forever, my body is so stiff. I feel just so out of practice and I can always, you know, we can feel the kind of judgmental thoughts. So I was like, oh my God, like my body's so stiff. This is going to take forever for me to get back into it. And just let those, you know, let those thoughts go. It's okay. Sometimes we need to take a break. Sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes your dog crawls all over you while you're trying to do yoga, you know. This practice is just to move, to tap into our needs, and to do what feels good, y'all. So let go of that judgment, that, that attachment, and just breathe deeply here. On the next inhale, you can return to center. And on the exhale, you can release. Now maybe take some time just to rock out the legs here. And then we're gently gonna draw the knees in towards the chest. You can grab the backs of your thighs or your shins. Maybe just rock from side to side here. Massage out that low back. And then when you're ready, you can gently drop over to one side, perhaps using the bottom arm as a pillow, coming to a fetal pose here. And then slowly, we're going to rise up to a seated position. So I'm just gently going to press myself up. Now you can find any seat that feels comfortable for you and your body. I'm just gonna take this easy seated pose here. Now remember the easy seated pose means something different for everyone. So if you want to have your legs crossed like me, you can. If you want to extend your legs, you can. Whatever feels right and good. If you want to sit on a pillow or a bolster or a block, do what feels best for you and your body. And we're going to get into the neck and shoulders here. I am so tight in my neck and shoulders from moving. So we're going to get into this, y'all. Now you can inhale here. Exhale, we're just going to drop this right ear over to the right shoulder. We're going to press this left shoulder down. Just getting into the cervical spine, into the neck. Inhale, center, exhale, left ear to left shoulder. And again, press that right shoulder down. Inhale, center, 
Exhale, right ear to right shoulder one more time. Maybe take this left hand and you press that palm down, really press that left shoulder down. Just really get into the side of that neck. Inhale, you can come back to center and exhale here. Inhale here, exhale, left ear to left shoulder. And again, maybe you wanna take this right hand and just press it down and away from you to the side like you're pushing something down with your palm and really encourage that right shoulder down. And you can inhale here and exhale, go ahead and release. Now we're gonna drop this chin to the chest and we're just gonna shake our head, no. Shaking the head from side to side, really slowly, really exaggerated. If there's anything you want to say no to here, you can say anything. You're like, I don't want that in my life anymore. Anything you're looking to release, you can say it out loud, say no thanks. And gently you can come back to center, chin to chest. And now we're gonna nod the head, yes. So really dropping the head back, lifting the chin. And then dropping the head forward, chin to chest. And if there's anything you wanna say yes to here, say yes to it. Anything you're looking to manifest, you say, I want that, that's mine. Say yes to it here. And these movements are gonna start to get more exaggerated. So when you drop the chin to the chest, we're really gonna round the shoulders forward, press the back backwards, just really rounding here, doming out the shoulders. And on the inhale, we're really going to arch, we're gonna press the chest forward, drop the head back, lift the chin. And exhale, round. I don't know if you can hear the church bells, that's my favorite part of living here, is that you can just hear the church bells from the really old church down the street. And we're gonna continue with this seated cat-cow, just listening to your body, linking your breath to your movement, and really finding your flow here. So this is one of those points where ask yourself what you need, do what feels good here. If you wanna take some full body chest rolls, chest circles, you can do that. You can continue with that seated cat-cow. You can go from side to side. You can get a little crazy with it. I don't care. I want you to do what feels good for you. You can flail your arms around. I just really want you to connect to your body here. Connect to your breath. A couple more rounds here, doing what feels right and good. And then gently coming to stillness to a neutral spine. Now we're going to transition into a tabletop here. So to our hands and knees. So I'm gonna move slowly with intention, coming to my tabletop, my shoulder, elbow, wrists are going to stack. My hips are stacked over my knees and we're going right into a cat cow here. So I'm going to inhale, lift the chin, open up the heart, arching the back, maybe sticking the booty out. Exhale to round, doming out the shoulders, tucking the chin to chest, tucking the pelvis. Inhale to open up. And exhale to round. Now, same thing here. I want you to do what feels good. If you want to take those full kind of body rolls, you can. If you want to rock from side to side, five to seven breaths, just doing your own thing. Doing what feels good, reconnecting with your body. Finding your flow, linking your breath to your movements.
and gently finishing up your last round, coming back to a neutral spine. We're going to get into the calves and the feet a little bit here. So I'm going to bring my left knee to center and I'm going to extend my right leg straight back. So I'm straightening the leg and coming to the ball of the right foot. My heel is lifted and I'm just going to press back on that heel. Now you're going to feel the back of that leg start to open up the back of the calf. I've been doing a lot of walking. I sold my car before I moved here to Salem. So I walk everywhere. So I got to get into those calves, those hamstrings. Maybe you want to rock back and forth. A little bit more of a dynamic movement here instead of a static stretch. Just doing what feels good. Gently coming to stillness. If you're moving, we're going to bring that right knee to center now and extend that left leg back. So again, coming to the ball of that left foot, the heel is lifted and I'm pressing back on the heel. And maybe I'm going to rock forward and back. And gently coming back to stillness, you can release that knee back. Now we're going to come to sit on our knees here. Now, if you need some extra support, you can put a pillow or a blanket underneath your knees or double up on your yoga mat. I'm going to need to start doing that because these are very old, very hardwood <laughs> floors. So I'm coming to sit on my knees and we're just going to get into the feet a little bit here. So I'm going to lift up. I'm going to tuck the balls of my feet. My heels are up and I'm going to sit back down. Now, this can feel a little intense in the feet, so as soon as it starts getting too much, you can release. But while we're here, we're gonna take some side bends. So I'm just gonna inhale my arms up overhead. Exhale, I'm dropping the right arm, and I'm taking a side bend over to the left. So I'm reaching that left arm up and over, trying to keep my chest open to the ceiling. I'm going to inhale through center, exhale over to the other side. So my left arm drops, my right arm comes up and over again, keeping that chest open. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, you can release, you can untuck those feet. I'm going to come back down to my hands and knees. I'm going to press my palms into the mats. I'm going to tuck my toes and I'm going to inhale those hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Now in your down dog, your heels do not have to touch the mat, but if we're just encouraging them down, we're pressing our palms really deeply into the mat, pressing our chest through our shoulders and towards the tops of our thighs. Now you can do what feels good here. Maybe you want to pedal out the feet. Maybe you want to shake the hips. Shake the head. This is the first downward dog I've done in about a thousand years. And I'm feeling it, but you know what? It's okay. We're in it together, y'all. I'm breathing here. Now you can find stillness in your downward facing dog. You can inhale, gaze up to your hands. We're going to find our way to a forward fold. So options here. Maybe you want to take some baby steps forward up towards your hands. Maybe you want to take some baby steps back with your hands to your feet. Maybe you want to take a big old step forward into your forward fold. You can keep those feet wide so I'm going to make space for the belly and thighs here. You can keep a bend in those knees. And now we're in our forward fold and we're just going to do what feels good. You can sway from side to side. You can grab for opposite elbows. We're spending some time, some deep breaths here in your forward fold. I don't know about y'all, but a forward fold, I feel like, is my favorite pose. It just feels so good. It just kind of releases everything. The little back, the legs. I'm going to gently find stillness here. Now you can bring your hands to your shins or to blocks if you have them. Press into them. Inhale for a halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise to standing. You might not be able to see my face because I know the camera cuts off. Exhale, hands to the heart center. We're doing what we can with what we got, y'all. We're going to flow through just some half sun salutes here. 
just to get a little movement, a little warmth in the body. So we're standing in our Tadasana Mountain Pose. Hands can be at the sides. Feet are about hips distance apart. And we're just gonna flow, my friends. We're gonna inhale, reach those arms up, really elongate the spine. Exhale, find that forward fold over the legs. Inhale for that halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Two more, just like that. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach and rise to standing. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last time, we're going to inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, fold. Now this time, while we're here in our forward fold, we're gonna find a gorilla posture. This is like a really deep forward fold. You know how kind of gorillas like kind of stand on their knuckles? We're gonna kind of do that. So I encourage you to bring your feet even a bit wider here. You can bend as deeply as you'd like into those knees. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to get our hands underneath our feet. If that is not possible, that is totally fine. You maybe just wanna kind of bring your knuckles to the floor. Again, widening your feet, bending the knees is gonna help you do that. Maybe you wanna lift up those feet and bring those hands underneath the feet, trying to get those toes up to the wrists. And the more you kind of pull on those arms, you're gonna feel the back open up. You're gonna feel that really deep release in this forward fold. This is our gorilla posture. We're just gonna breathe here. Now gently you can release. We're going to inhale for that halfway lift flat spine. Exhale to fold. I'm gently going to bring my hands down to the mat and I'm slowly going to step back, dropping one knee at a time. We're gonna find a child's pose. I'm gonna bring my knees as wide as the mat to honor make space for the belly and thighs. I'm gonna sink my hips back to my heels and extend my arms all the way out and drop all the way down. Finding this blossom of this child's pose is really sinking deep down into it. With every inhale, really filling up, taking up space. And with every exhale, just relaxing deeper into this pose. Now I encourage you to revisit where we first started asking yourself, what do I need? And how can I honor that need? I encourage you to do that today, to go out after this class and do what you need to do. Maybe you need to spend more time on your mat. Maybe you need to go for a little walk. Maybe you need to eat a little something. Maybe you need to take a nap. Whatever it is, I encourage you to honor your needs today, my friends. This is where I'm going to leave you in this child's pose. I encourage you to spend at least five to 10 breaths here. Again, if you like witchcraft and wellness, a little bit of weirdness, a little bit of spookiness, come on down, come follow me here on this YouTube channel. I put out free classes at least once a week going forward now that I'm settled into my new place in Salem. I appreciate all of you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.